Internal Revenue Service IRS tax news. IRS. Truckers need to file by August 31st deadline. E-file encouraged. Hey, IRS. Don't, don't tell me I need to do stuff. I don't need nothing, man. So possibly some tasty waves and a cool buzz. Just, just kidding, IRS. I need my money. I, I'll file. I'll file. But first, an attempt at a joke. The Biden administration assures us they have the economy under control. Biden saying he loves the American economy. Here, please, this verse. Nothing to see here, please. But every time it gets near it, the economy reacts like it's been kissed by a porcupine. Part of the problem being Biden likes spending money because what you were trying to do was terrify us into spending more money than we have. More than a pretzel likes dancing the twist. Now get out of here before the victim of violent crime in this house is you. <laughs> when asked about his economic plan, Biden responded, well, I just throw stuff at the wall. What's happening? I'm throwing crap at a wall. I know it won't stick. But I'm satisfied if it just leaves a greasy, sticky red stain. And that kind of act leaves a mark. A stain that would be dang near impossible to remove. It would be impossible for him to remove them. Because I figure, from a Keynesian perspective, if I just cause enough damage, it will eventually create jobs. Lifting the economy, man. Haven't they done enough damage already? Unfortunately, I haven't been able to break stuff as fast as I would like in order to fix things. IR 2022-146, August 8, 2022, Washington. The Internal Revenue Service today is reminding those who have registered or are required to register large trucks and buses that it's time to file Form 2290 Heavy Highway Vehicle Use Tax Return. There's a link to that here. The IRS strongly encourages using e-file and filing before the payment deadline of August 31st, 2022 for vehicles first used in July 2022 and when the iris says strongly encourages you kind of hear like an or else kind of thing you know clean clean your clean your room or else they'll they'll be held to pay i don't know exactly what that will be but it will be horrifying it's kind of i think that's kind of what they're going for but in any case truckers that have a highway motor vehicle with a taxable gross weight of 55,000 pounds or more registered in their name must file form 2290 and pay the tax. However, on vehicles they expect to use for 5,000 miles or less, 7,500 for farm vehicles, they're required to file a return but pay no tax. If the vehicle exceeds the mileage use limit during the tax period, the tax becomes due. The filing deadline is not tied to the vehicle registration date. Taxpayers must file form 2290 by the last day of the month following the month in which the taxpayer first used the vehicle on a public highway during taxable period, regardless of the vehicle's registration renewal date. Vehicles first used on a public highway during the month of July 2022 must file Form 2290 and pay the appropriate tax between uh, July 1st and August 31st. Any additional taxable vehicles placed on the road during any month other than July should be prorated for the months during which it was in service. IRS.gov, IRS.gov, IRS.gov has a table to help determine the filing deadline. There's a link to that table here. File and pay the easy way. Do it Do it the easy way or the way the IRS kind of wants you to do it because they're trying to get less actual man and woman power over there right? and try to automate everything. So they would like some e-file activity happening. So visit the Truckers Tax Center on irs.gov forward slash trucker. There's a link to that here. Review the frequently asked questions for truckers who e-file. Also available in Spanish if you want to check it out in Espanol. Use Do I Need to Pay Heavy Highway Vehicle Use Tax. There's a link to that. It's online if unsure about filing. 
rather uh, gather the required information. So when you're going to file, you need the you need the info to do so. Vehicle identification numbers, obviously, you got to have the employer identification number, otherwise known as the EIN, so they know who the employer is. Not a social security number. They want an EIN number. If you're driving big trucks, then you need it. They're they're looking EIN, not just someone's social security. So it can take about four weeks to establish a new EIN. If you don't have one, pretty pretty easy process. Even if you're like a sole proprietorship, for example, and you filed your tax return using just your social security number and you don't have any employees, you might think like, like an employer identification number should be one in which you would have employees, but you don't necessarily need employees. You know, you could still get one so that you could give it to people who that are going to try to 1099 you, for example, or for uses such as this, where the IRS wants to identify you by number. Of course, you're not you're not a name. Don't don't you be thinking your name here. You need a you need an appropriate number. So you can see how to apply for an EIN here. There's a link taxable gross weight of each vehicle. So you need the taxable weight because that's going to determine you know your taxability as well filing options you got all form 2290 filers are encouraged to e-file uh, a list of irs approved e-file providers is on irs.gov there's a link to that here e-file is required when reporting 25 or more vehicles on form 2290 so if you're doing that much stuff on the big vehicles then you've got to do the e-file option so a watermarked Schedule 1 is sent within minutes after acceptance of an e-file return. It's amazing. The IRS is so efficient now these days. So if filing by mail, ensure that the correct mailing address is used. Mail filers will receive their stamped Schedule 1 within six weeks after the IRS receives the form. Payment options. You could use a credit or debit card or digital wallet is an option. There's a link to that here. E-file making uh, makes paying with electronic funds withdrawal an easy part of the process. So you could just electronically drain your bank account if you want to pay the IRS that way. Electronic federal tax payment system, there's a link to that here, requires advanced enrollment. So you got to do a little bit more pre-work on that, get, get rolled up and enrolled. So mail check or money order payments using form 2290V, basically the voucher form, it's a payment voucher, mailed to Internal Revenue Service PO Box 93250 Louisville, Kentucky. And you know, you, we'll have the address here so you can take a look at the address at the link. So take a look at the link if you wanna mail in the old payment, the old fashioned way. And of course, there's there's much more reading material down below. So you can you can check this stuff out while you're driving the truck, you can read this stuff. I mean, well, pro probably not when you're driving, uh, but you know, at the break or something. You got the IRS YouTube videos. We got YouTube videos. You might even be able to watch those if you got a screen, like separate screen or something. Truckers, mark your calendar to file Form 2290. Understanding Form 2290, heavy highway vehicle use tax. There's a link to that here. Frequently asked questions for Indian tribal governments uh, regarding highway use tax. There's a link to that. IRS Form 2290 call center available weekdays between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. Eastern time from within US. There's a couple numbers that you can call here. I will not uh, say them here like five times like you used to hear at old commercials because we'll have a link to this in the description and you can check it out on your own if you so choose and there'll be a link to this uh, in the description.